I don't know why I just thought he'd be European or something because he... Yeah, man, he's about as European as fucking English Bob. I know that right. now. But was he cool or what? Thank you. Totally fucking cool. In control. Didn't he, you know, even really get pissed when you were fucking with him. I was amazed. <laughs> Want some bacon? No, man, I don't eat pork. Forget it, it's too risky. I'm not sure doing that shit. Are you Jewish? No, I ain't Jewish. I just don't dig on swine, that's all. Why not? You always say that, the same thing every time. I'm through, never again, too dangerous. I know, that's why I always say I'm always right, too. Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Yeah, but bacon tastes good. Pork chops taste good. Hey, sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie, but I'd never know, because I wouldn't eat the filthy motherfuckers. But you forget about it in a day or two? Yeah, well, the days of me forgetting are over. The days of me remembering have just begun. <laughs> You know when you go on like this what you sound like? You sound like a sensible fucking man. That's you what sound I sound like. A like. Duck. Quack, 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 quack. Pigs sleep and root and shit. That's a filthy animal. I ain't eat nothing ain't got sense enough to disregard its own feces. How about a dog? Dog eats his own feces. I don't eat dog either. Yeah, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? You don't take dog, because you're never gonna have to hear it again. Cause it, since I'm never gonna do it again, you're never gonna have to hear me quack that I'm never gonna do it again. After tonight? Correct. I got all tonight to quack. I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy, but they're definitely dirty. But dogs got personality. Personality goes a long way. Uh, so by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, he would cease to be a filthy animal. Is that true? Well, we have to be talking about one charming motherfucking pig. <laughs> I mean, he had to be ten times more charming than that Arnold on Green Acres, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can I get anyone more coffee? Oh, yes. Thank you. Come. Oh, man, that's good. That's good, man. You're like starting to lighten up. I mean, the way it is now, you're taking the same risk as when you rob a bank. You're taking more of a risk. Banks are easier. Federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery. You're insured. Why should they give a fuck? You don't even need a gun in a federal bank. You've been sitting there all serious and shit. Oh, man, I've just been sitting here thinking. About what? About the miracle we witnessed. Miracle you witnessed. I witnessed a freak occurrence. What is a miracle, Vincent? The act of God. And what's an act of God? And about this one bloke, he walks into a bank with a portable phone. He gives the phone to the teller. The bloke on the other end of the phone says, we got this guy's little girl. If you don't give him all your money, we're gonna kill her. Did it work? Fucking right, it works. That's what I'm talking about. Knucklehead walks into a bank with a telephone. Not a pistol, not a shotgun, but a fucking phone. Cleans the place out, they don't even lift a fucking finger. When um, God makes the impossible possible. But this morning, I don't think it qualifies. Did they hurt the little girl? I don't know, there probably never was a little girl in the first place. But the point of the story isn't a little girl, the point of the story is they robbed a bank with a telephone. Hmm. Hey, Vincent, <laughs> don't you see that shit don't matter? You're judging this shit the wrong way. I mean, it could be God stopped the bullets, or he changed Coke to Pepsi, he found my fucking car keys. You don't judge shit like this based on merit. Now, whether or not what we experienced was an according to Hoyle miracle is insignificant. But what is significant is I felt the touch of God. God got involved. But why? Well, that's what's fucking with me. I don't know why, but I can't go back to sleep. You serious? You want to rob banks? I'm not saying I want to rob banks, I'm just illustrating that if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. And no more liquor stores? What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor stores. You really thinking about quitting? The life? Yeah. Most definitely. Fuck. Besides, it ain't the giggle it used to be. It's too many foreigners on liquor stores. Vietnamese, Koreans, they don't even speak fucking English. You tell them, empty out the register. They don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They make it too personal. We keep on, one of these goop fuckers is gonna make us kill them. Well, I'm not gonna kill anybody. I don't want to kill anybody either. But it probably put us in a situation where it's us or them. And if it's not the gooks, it's these old fucking Jews who've owned the store for 15 fucking generations. You've got Grandpa Irving sitting by the, behind the counter with a fucking magnum in his hand. Try walking in one of those places with nothing but a phone. See how far that gets? You know, fuck it, forget it. What's she gonna do then? Well, that's what I've been sitting here contemplating. First, I'm gonna deliver this case to Marcellus. Then, basically, I'm just gonna walk the earth. What you mean, walk the earth? You know, like Cain in Kung Fu walk from place to place, meet people, get in adventures. And how long do you intend to walk the earth? Till God puts me where he wants me to be. And what if you don't do that? If it takes forever, then I'll walk forever. 
We're out of it. Yeah, well, what then? Day jobs? Not in this life. So you decided to be a bum? I'll just be Jules, Vincent. No more, no less. No, Jules. You decided to be a bum. Just like all those pieces of shit out there who beg for change, who sleep in garbage bins, and eat what I throw away. What then? They got a name for that, Jules. It's called a bum. And without a job, a residence, or legal tender, that's what you're gonna be, man. You're gonna be a fucking bum. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Got some. Coffee. Jules, look. What happened this morning, man, I agree, it was peculiar. But water into wine, I... All shapes and sizes, Vincent. Don't fucking talk to me that way, man. If my answers frighten you, Vincent, then you should cease asking scary questions. This place. Our soul means boy. This place? I'm gonna take a shit. A coffee shop. What's wrong with that? Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why not? Bars, liquor stores, gas stations. You get your head blown off sticking out one of them. Let me ask you something. When did you make this decision? When you were sitting there eating that muffin? Restaurants, on the other hand, you catch with their pants down. They're not expecting to get robbed. Not as expecting, anyway. I bet you could cut down on the hero factor in a place like this. Well, yeah. I was sitting there eating my muffin and drinking my coffee and replaying the incident in my head when I had what alcoholics refer to as a moment of clarity. Same as banks, these places are insured. Manager. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. He's just trying to get you out the door before you start plugging the diners. Waitress is fucking forget it. No way they're taking a bullet for the register. Fuck. To be continued. Bus boy, some wet back, getting paid $1.50 an hour. Really give a fuck you're stealing from the owner? Customers sitting there with food in their mouths, they don't know what's going on. One minute they're having a Denver omelet, next minute someone's sticking a gun in their face. See, I got the idea. The last liquor store we stuck up, remember? Mm -hmm. All the customers kept coming in. Yeah. You got the idea, taking their wallets. Mm -hmm. Now that was a good idea. Thank you. Made more from the wallets than we did from the register. Yes, we did. A lot of people come to restaurants. A lot of wallets. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart. I'm ready. Let's do it right now, right here. Come on. All right. Same as last time, remember? <laughs> Your crowd control. I handle employees. Mm. Mm. I love you, Pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! Uh -huh.